what can be seen now is that pakistan is turning into another sri lanka do you know what is really happening in pakistan today pakistan is in a state of extreme economic crisis there is news that pakistan has even put the pakistani embassy in washington up for sale and this is the new directive given by the government of pakistan that from the beginning of this new year shopping malls markets restaurants and wedding halls in the country should be open only till 8:30 pm this is a way to save electricity cost for the country which is facing a severe energy crisis do you think this way can solve the energy crisis of a country the lack of petroleum products imported from foreign countries the shortage of food products and the economic crisis faced by various sectors of the country have now put pakistan in a difficult situation It is important to understand more details about the current situation of Pakistan and how Pakistan came to this situation. So let's go deep into this. Pakistan's economy has been going through a downturn for the past few years. Various factors such as decline in GDP growth, rise in global inflation following the Ukraine war, depreciation of the currency which increases the cost of imports and depletion of forex reserve have contributed to Pakistan's economic crisis. But above all these factors the country was hit worse by the heavy floods last year about 3.3 crore people were affected and suffered damages in this flood in Pakistan economic factors aside Pakistan also experienced unprecedented floods which caused massive destruction and affected 33 million people on October 28 2022 the World Bank released an assessment statement report on the damage caused by this flood in Pakistan According to this report, the direct losses due to the floods in the country were estimated at 14.9 billion dollars and the economic losses incurred by Pakistan due to this floods were estimated at 15.2 billion dollars. That means total damage worth around 30 billion dollars was caused in Pakistan due to flood. Moreover, Pakistan's national poverty rate has risen from 2.5 to 4% when the flood damage is added to other economic crises. The effect of this would be to push 58 lakh to 90 lakh people in the country into extreme poverty. In addition, macroeconomic risk remain high as Pakistan faces challenges related to a large current account deficit, high public debt and low demand from traditional export markets due to slower global growth. Pakistan's economic crisis was one of the main reasons for the political wars between the current prime minister of Pakistan Shahbaz Sharif and his predecessor Imran Khan. And before going into more details, if you think this video is worth watching, please like this video and share to your friends and family because your support is everything for us. Now getting back at it, Pakistan has been experiencing high inflation for several years. Inflation rate of Pakistan which was 9.19% in October 2021 has changed to 12.3% in December. Pakistan's inflation rate rose sharply from 30% in January 2022 to 21.32% in June. By August it had grown to a record high of 27.26. Due to this, prices of food items, gas and oil all went up. The Russia Ukraine war also created a major energy crisis in Pakistan. Rising debt and decreasing forex reserves are the biggest challenges in Pakistan's crisis. Without an immediate rescue package, Pakistan will soon face total economic collapse. In fact, Pakistan has increased its dependence on non-oil imports over the past few years. At the same time, there was a decline in the country's exports. According to the Pakistan's Bureau of Statistics, the country's trade deficit stood at 2.8 billion dollars in December 2022. This was due to a 16% drop in exports to 2.3 billion dollars. The currency's devaluation also deepened the financial crisis, with the Pakistani rupee depreciating by nearly 30% against the US dollar in 2022. Currently, the Pakistani rupee is the worst valued currency in Asia. as the currency depreciated naturally the cost of imports also increased when the import cost increases it depletes a country's foreign reserves this means that a country needs foreign currency to pay for energy imports most of the countries use the us dollar for this purpose pakistan's forex reserves fell below 6 billion dollars in december 2022 it was the lowest level in 8 years according to current estimates 
Pakistan currently has foreign currency reserve to import oil left only for one or two months more. Therefore, along with the economic crisis, Pakistan is currently facing a severe energy crisis. Due to this problem, the Pakistan government has instructed malls, markets and other establishments to close by 8.30 pm. Also, in order to save more energy, Pakistan is also planning to ban the manufacture of products including less energy-efficient electric fans from July. You have been all wondering what will be the consequences of all these, right? Let me add some more facts. According to Pakistan's Defence Minister Khawaja Asif, Pakistan can save $228 million through such measures. In addition, the government of Pakistan has instructed all government departments in the country to reduce electricity consumption by 30%. At the same time, facing the economic crisis, Pakistan is also facing an increasing debt crisis. According to Reuters reports, Pakistan has almost $30 billion in foreign debt to pay off before June 2023. According to the World Bank, Pakistan's GDP of 2% will never be able to repay such a huge debt. Inflation raising to 23% further adds to the impact of the severe challenge facing the country. In addition to all these, the people of Pakistan are currently facing increased unemployment. The sight of more than 30,000 people gathering at a stadium in Islamabad for a constable recruitment test with only 1,167 vacancies recently went viral on social media. Some of you might have seen it. The country's financial situation has worsened to the extent that the Central Bank of Pakistan has temporarily suspended issuance of letters of credit or LCs for imports due to the liquidity crunch. Import of defence equipment is also currently restricted in Pakistan. As the government has no money to pay the import bills of gas, the country is running out of gas even in this severe winter. Reports suggest that foreign banks are now demanding an 8% premium to confirm letters of credit from Pakistani banks. Furthermore, there were reports suggesting that PBF, a private sector policy advocacy organization, Pakistan Business Forum, has urged Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif to declare a national economic emergency in the country long ago and take immediate actions to prevent a disaster like that of Sri Lanka. Along with the economic crisis, political unrest and lack of commitment from leaders and friendly countries are some of the other issues Pakistan is facing. Top economists of Pakistan are of the opinion that this will further worsen the economic situations of Pakistan and put more pressure on the economy. Pakistan currently needs to raise more than $26 billion to repay foreign debts and cover the country's huge current account deficit. But countries like China or Saudi Arabia, which were close friends with Pakistan, have not yet expressed their willingness to provide financial assistance to Pakistan. Only ray of hope remaining is the Pakistani political leader's belief of getting some help from reliable sources that cannot be revealed. So friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel for informative videos on various topics from different areas of the world. We look forward to all your support. See you again with another interesting video.